Hello, Daz Studio patrons. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to my tutorial series. My goal is to always help make Daz Studio easier, get comments and feedbacks from my patrons and subscribers, and overall help you improve your Daz experience. Now, in today's video, I want to talk about something that was brought up by one of my patrons. So I want to give a shout out to the rhetorical reader and he posted in one of my videos a few days ago about a tutorial regarding posing interactive figures. So in other words, poses of multiple characters at once. And so he writes that I'd love to see you do a tutorial on posing with interacting figures whenever I try and work with characters of different heights. It's a nightmare and I don't and don't get me started on trying to place hands. I'd love to see how others do it and maybe get some tips to speed up work. Then he just clarifies by saying he struggles with two figures doing simple things like holding hands, hugging, or sitting on a couch with their arms around each other. So he would like some tips on posing multiple characters. So I would love to show everyone my tips on how I use these interactive poses. So before we get started, I just want to say that you have to remember that these poses are general poses. And it doesn't matter if it's a single pose or if it is a multiple character pose. We're going to have to do a lot of manipulation. And I don't know how to get around that. These are guides. So think of these poses as a guide. So when we start to work with multiple characters, you have to think of it as I'm going to put these characters in a pose and then have to tweak it, manipulate it, and get it so that I like how they are interacting. I don't know any way around this. It's just something that we have to think about every time we use preset poses. Now to get started, we have to understand that there are a lot of different ways that they set up these interactive poses. And I often use them a lot in a scene, but I have noticed that when you purchase these interactive poses with multiple characters, some of them behave differently than others. So for example, I have this cute couple pose pack and these poses are going to keep the figures in their coordinate. So when I pose them, they're not going to move. Other interactive poses, and especially I've noticed with a lot of adult poses, when we pose the figures, the figure actually moves to the 000 coordinate system. So in parameters here, for example, Milica, when I pose her with some of these couple poses, we're going to have her move to zero. And that is very inconvenient. Now, you just have to test this out with your poses. So the poses here that I have will not change where Milica is standing. So for example, if I just click the pose, I'll turn the limits off. See, she's going to pose at her coordinate and this can be helpful and this can be a detriment so i'll show you how i deal with poses like this where the character is not moving so if our character is not moving the easiest thing to do is actually make sure that they are at the zero zero coordinate system so in my scene here i have it set up where my genesis eight male character is going to be slightly out of zero 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 so i'm gonna just make i'm gonna put him in the zero zero z coordinate and i'm gonna do the same thing for milica so milica's off and i'm gonna put her in the zero 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 coordinate 
Now, since they're both at the base position, we can actually pose them and they will pose approximately into the pose that we have here. So we're gonna have to do some manipulations no matter what. There's like no way we can get around manual posing, but these poses do give us a close representation. So I'm gonna select the male and we're gonna choose, let's choose this pose here. So I'm gonna pose this one, the male first. So he moves into position. Now with Milika at the base, I'm gonna select her and we're gonna make sure we choose the same one for her, get them posed. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Now, if I want this camera angle, I don't like that they are facing away from each other. So the easiest way to move them together is to put them, after we pose them, into a group. So I'm gonna select both characters, come up here to create, and we're gonna create a new group. I'm just gonna name them couple. And now both of them are in a group and I can select that couple group and I can use my rotation and we can now rotate them. So now I can rotate their positions to where I want them. Now, obviously, we had a boob there. Now, ob <laughs> Uh, Milika's dress moved on me and I saw a boob. Um, <laughs> man, that just messed me up. Okay, now we do have an issue where, you know, their arms and stuff are just not in the right position. And mostly that's because Milika is shorter than the guy. So we're going to have to go in and do some manual posing. We just can't get around that. So depending on what you want to do with Milika's arm here, you're going to have to repose. All right, so I'm going to zoom in. We're going to kind of make a scene like maybe they're dancing or hugging. And we're just going to have to repose the way that we like. Posing is one of the most challenging and time-consuming things that we do in Daz Studio. We just can't get around it. So another thing that I can do to maybe speed this manual posing up is go into my viewport, select a side by side, and then choose a different camera that I can get a different pose so that we can get their hands in better positions. Okay, so here you can see that we need to move his hands a little bit and Often I've noticed that if I just move the hand and maybe not the arm, it works a little bit easier. So I'm just going to move his thumb a little bit because it's going through her. Now this arm is not quite touching her. So we may want to just manually move that a little bit upward. Maybe twist the shoulder, get his hand kind of up against her a little bit better. All right, that looks better. I can go into single view. And you can see that looks pretty good. We're gonna have to do a little bit of manual posing, but if we go back to the content, you can see that looks pretty close. We had to do some tweaking, but that matches. I don't know how else to do it, really. This is just something that you gotta do. Uh, I set up the pose, then I've gotta manually do it. Alrighty, so here is a quick render of that pose, and I think it looks pretty good. We could maybe play with the lighting or whatever, but we're focusing on the pose, so I'm pretty happy. Now, the second type of poses I've noticed with more than one person are poses where when we pose them, the pose goes right to the zero coordinates. So when you pose the character, they are gonna be put into the zero coordinate system immediately. And this can be a major pain in the butt. So with this kind of a pose, I suggest that you put the couple in a group before you do anything else. And that will allow both of them to the base coordinate system and then you can keep them together. So an example of this are the Layla poses that are adult poses that you can find on various websites. And when you select these, they always move the characters back to that base 
position. And so I'm going to just keep them in this couple and pose them accordingly. Let's first pose Milica. So I'm going to select Milica. And I don't know which pose to use. Let's use this pose. This looks nice. So I'm going to just select this pose and we're going to pose Milica first. And then I'm going to select the male and we're going to select and pose him. And these poses are pretty good because they kind of put the figures in a nice pose almost immediately, but they still are going to need manual posing. So I'm just going to swing this one around and you can see that they're still just not exactly matched up. Now, sometimes when they're not posed correctly, we can move the entire character. So like with Milica here, I can select her and then just kind of move her because we can see that he's got his arm kind of on her head and then her arm is cutting through him so I can move her completely and get a better pose by moving her entire body and then once I have her kind of in the position I prefer I'm going to manipulate his hand and arm a little bit I've noticed that a lot of arm poses, if you select their shoulder, you can move it and twist it, and it, it's easier to pose using the shoulder. See how I just kind of use the shoulder instead of the forearm? And um, then I can move his neck. If we want them actually kissing, I might be able to use his neck to get his face closer to hers. Uh, it's so close. Okay, so you can kind of get the idea. I wish I had a better method or a better fix to this. I just really have to use a lot of manual positioning to get them to look right. It's just something that we have to do. I can zoom in here and now I can do some fine details of repositioning. Remember, the eyes are one of the most important things to pose. So in this case, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to close his eyes. And I'm going to make Milica her eyes. And let's have her looking kind of down a little bit. And maybe she's not, not quite sure if she wants to kiss him or not. She's grabbing his butt, though, so she must kind of like it. She's an innocent girl, though. She doesn't want to be too frisky. Then, of course, I can take Milica, and I have a pose that is a kissing pose. So let's try that. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so I just added a kissing pose. Her hand is cutting through his head, so we're going to have to mess with that. So I'm just going to select the entire couple. Let's rotate it around and we'll fix this and then I'll just rotate it back. So see her, her, um, her hand is kind of going through his head. All right, so I, I'm just adjusting that arm a little bit. Now I'm gonna select the couple again and I'm gonna just rotate them back to the position that I like. I don't know if I have a kissing expression for the male. Let's look. Ah, uh, there is one. Let's see what it does. Oh, nice. Okay. So I just changed that a little bit. All right. So these action poses, these interactive poses, they are certainly not perfect. I wish that they matched up better. And I agree that if we have two different size characters, you're really going to have to adjust, especially if you're doing those adult poses. Um, I know when I do a lot of the adult poses, I've got to manually fix a lot of the character's limbs, so their arms and legs have to be moved a lot. With some other ones, if the characters are approximately the same size, it's a little bit easier, but this definitely is a challenge. So I think the biggest thing is to keep them at the base position. And then the second thing is make them into a group so that they are together when you're posing them. Once you have the base pose done, then 
look at what you need to adjust and then make those adjustments. All right, we're gonna render this one up, see what it looks like. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you have better ideas, let me know. I might slip it into my next video and give you credit for it. So thank you, Rhetorical Reader, for this suggestion. I think it's a great idea to talk about. And let's see what our Daz community has to say about these poses. All right, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day and happy rendering. Thank mm -hmm. you.